Well, we're fifth and six overall, and it's uh, a big battle in front of the race. Uh, we must drive carefully and uh, just keep it safe with the tyre choice. A couple of spares in, the ca in each of the cars. A lot of punctures out there, and we're just waiting for something to happen uh, to the leaders, um, because it can happen to anybody out here. It's difficult to climb up the order, though. Most definitely, Guy Wilkes absolutely locked there, as you can see. A big margin behind him. Neuville looking likely to stay in six. We'll see what happens in the last few stages, which we'll have for you after this. Stay with us. So the last loop of the Yalta Rally, the same as the first of the morning. Well, would that knowledge help? With only an 11 second gap over Mickelson before the last loop, Jan Kipetsky drove flat out to keep hold of third place overall. Fastest time on stage 12. 1.7 over his teammate, Euro Hanley. As for Hanley, second fastest time for the overall leader. Still fighting to keep Bouffier at bay, with only six seconds between them ahead of this last loop. The Fed increasing his gap overall by 5.7 seconds over the Frenchman, who took fourth behind Neuville on this run. Patrick Sandel without any problems, no punctures, a miracle for him. Sandel now showing his pace on this stage, stage five, fifth quickest, 8.7 off the stage winner. The Swede moving into the top ten overall after all those problems early on. Almost well, the bad luck on stage 12 went to Andreas Mikkelsen, a mistake on the last kilometres of the stage. He hit a tree with the back of the car, damaged his exhaust as well. Norwegian still managed sixth best time of the stage, but uh, 9.4 seconds behind the winner, Kopetsky, his main rival in that battle for third overall. Didn't hold him up that long, but the car was compromised. Mikkelsen now 22.3 seconds off the podium. And so to stage 13. Unlucky for some, you might say. Got to be careful. Yes, uh, this is uh, Jan Kopetsky. Czech driver outstanding, almost certain to secure his third place overall. With a fine stage win, 2.2 over Mickelson here. Podium place, battle raging on. Third stage win of the event for Kopetsky, though. Just to make sure. Andreas Mickelson, well, he just didn't want to stop pushing. Second fastest on the penultimate stage with a compromised car. Not bad at all for Mickelson. But with more than 24 seconds now separating him and Kopetsky, starting to think that this battle for a podium place may well have already been settled. Jerry Neuville still very fast on the road, heading for a very creditable sixth overall. Neuville took the third time on stage 13. One minute and 26 down overall, though. Yes, uh, I mean, in fifth place, teammate Guy Wilkes, who uh, took sixth on stage 13. This guy just easing back, really, knowing that he couldn't push too hard because the gap was just too big. So may as well settle for that fifth spot. Well, the fight for the top still worth pursuing for Brian Bouffier. Only the fifth time, though, on this one. 6.6 .6 behind the overall leader and his main rival, Jo Hannan, who ran fourth quickest on this one before the... Uh, 17 kilometer final stage the Frenchman sitting 17.4 seconds down on the fin Their confirmation of how it stood at the top Kopetsky now almost certain to get that third place He has the luxury of being able to take it just a little bit easier because of Mickelson's problems Oh with nothing to win and everything to lose on this stage Brian Bouffier drove fast but without taking too many risks he said Despite his no-risk strategy, he still took stage 14. Seems that everyone else was taking it carefully as well. His first stage win of the event, finishing second on the rally, 11.7 behind Hannan, enough to satisfy the Frenchman who needed to earn big championship points here, and he got plenty. Well, I tried to push on the last loop, but um, in the first one, uh, you uh, took a very good time, and uh, I was never very good on this one. And in the following stage, I spun, so I lost a bit of time, and I knew that the fight was over. So in the last stage, I just drove to the finish, yes, uh, without taking any risks. So uh, really, I did a perfect job in the circumstances. Well, also perfect, of course, for, for the winner of this first Yalta Rally, Jure Hananen. Two stage wins, seventh victory in the IRC. Yes, uh, a record previously held by Chris Meek, of course. A new record holder then of victories. Very pleased.
Good, no, no problems with the car and uh, and, uh, and no mistakes, no punctures. And I knew that if I can help get a clean run, I should be quite high on the results. So thanks for the team. Very, very nice weekend. Very good weekend, just like the one in the Canaries. Double event winner then, Johanninen. How far ahead would he be if the team had sent him to Corsica? Big question. They sent Jan Kabetsky, of course, fourth on the last stage. The Czech finishing third on the podium, 11.6 ahead of Mikkelsen. Kabetsky earning good points in the championship, only three points behind Hannanen in the title race. Belgian Freddy Lux, of course, not here in Yalta. We are happy, still we need to wait for Andreas because you never know what we can do. But I sh hope this should be enough. OK, third place is not bad. We are very happy because the car was, uh, instead of the small problem, was uh, completely perfect. Well, pushing hard to hold off a very determined Andreas Mikkelsen. Yes, he drove at the maximum, uh, even with damage to the rear of his car and to the exhaust. Second fastest on the final run, a testament to his form. Yes, finishing just 0.6 behind Bouffier's mark. No podium, but he's delighted with his tarmac form. I'm very happy with the job myself and Ulla has done today, but uh, the luck wasn't just on our side today and uh, hit some gravel and destroyed the rear of the car and lost a little bit of time. But uh, OK, we learn. Uh, I'm very happy for this rally because I learned tarmac and I think my tarmac now is, is better than it was before, so I'm quite happy. After a very hard rally, full of misfortune, Guy Wilkes had another problem on the last loop. Ninth on stage 14, 32.4 seconds behind the stage winner. Yes, uh, what is sure is that Wilkes is happy to see the finish line at long last. So we had to, had to change the wheel before the last stage because there was a valve and maybe we didn't get enough temperature in, but... Yeah, not so good, but at least I think we held on to the position. Yes, yes, it's good to finish, absolutely. You know, it's um, been a long rally and we had bad luck yesterday and that really cost us. Thierry Neuville lost all chance of victory here early on in the rally. Despite spinning out of contention for a podium place, the young Belgian continued to push very hard all rally long to finish six overall, five minutes one seconds behind the winner as Consolation Norville took four stage victories more than anyone. Well, we got a good rhythm all weekend. Uh, we stayed in, in front um, early on, but um, we never quit in our uh, push. And in fact, we, mo we take more specials than anyone. So that's a good result. We've shown everybody that we can drive very fast and manage the race. And so uh, that's what we wanted to do. We'll be back for the next event. Mikola Chimkik, yes, uh, took the. Um, lead after stage seven in the production cup in day two and was leading the category comfortably by two minutes and 17 seconds after day two increased his lead to three minutes and four minutes after stages nine and ten but in stage 11 a crash put an end to his his rally and that was a real shame on day two Voldemir Pechenik has made a uh, constant progression through to the finish of the second day but after Chimik's accident Pechenik took the lead and kept it until the end of the day. Four winners in four events in the production cup. While well, Yuri Shapovalov finished day two in third place overall, but almost 10 minutes down on day three, he did his best to stay on the road and to avoid mistakes. Right idea. He finished runner up here in Yalta. And Anton Kuzmenko had a difficult day too. Yes, uh, filling or falling, I should say, to uh, 12th position and fighting all day to recover. Like all the others here, Anton Kuzmenko benefited from Chimik's crash to finish fourth. There's the production cup, how they finished here. Kuzmenko in third place. Some good running. And it looks like this with uh, Gone on the Swiss. On 50 points here, ahead of Barris and Peshnik. Tied at second apiece. It's close. The two wheel drive cup after two wins on day one. An undisputed lead into day two for Jean Michel Rao. Continued his domination in the category. More stage wins on the final day and an incredible victory for the French driver. Yeah, and his Renault. Well, all, all, the, uh, all the team have been working very, very well here. But that's it, uh, we, we've, we've done well and we've won, and you have by an enormous margin. Puscardi also involved here, and Martin Cogur, who uh, started 
the morning, five minutes and 35 seconds off the class leader. And would have stayed second, but he, he jumped the start on stage 11, adding to his four minute penalties for the rally and ended in third place. Honda then leading this category and by five points ahead of Persho. Skoda absolutely delighted with this rally. And indeed, so have we all been. Amazingly well organized, beautiful scenery and extremely challenging roads. The IRC will be back in Yalta, you can be certain. Two drivers on the podium for Skoda, it all helps. Alan then is our championship leader, ahead of uh, Jan Kapetsky. We'll get to that in a moment. This confirmation of uh, the overall classification, I beg your pardon. Alan finishing ahead of uh, Bouffier there for you. Confirmation of that and the gap. Uh, some of those who should have been further up the order, primary amongst them, perhaps, Neuville, the Belgian. We're going to see an awful lot more of that young man. Ill fortune for Gardemeister. Didn't really see much of him this weekend at all. There, confirmation of how they stand overall. Three points the gap between Hannon and Kapetsky. Skoda one and two with Bouffier's Peugeot still functioning very well. Neuville down in fourth place. Guy Wilkes, yes, in six behind. Freddy Loikes, who was absent, don't forget, here at Yalta, but will be back. He's got quite a season ahead of him, Freddy Loikes. And we know that he is a danger man to everybody out there. Skoda then with uh, an enhanced lead at the top here. It's been a close battle between Skoda and Peugeot, and it's 12 points now. Proton, shame that uh, they had their problems again, their issues. Hoping for a clean run for them soon. They are quick when things are functioning well. Don't forget, we've got the uh, rally review coming up tomorrow, midnight Central European time. That's uh, 2300 hours, 11 p.m. in the United Kingdom. Hope to have your company for that. It's been special. My name's Carlton Kirby. Thanks for your company. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.